Hi, my name is Jen and I'm from Archibots. Today, we're going to learn how to design an Antway combat robot in Tinkercad. Let's get into it. After creating an account and logging in, you should see this screen. From here, we're going to click on create new design. Before we start, we are going to change the name of the file. The original name is randomly generated. We are going to change it to Archobots Robot V1. As there is a size limit of a robot, we have to change the grid size. Firstly, we check that it is in millimeters, then we change the width and length to 125 millimeters. With the grid being the correct size, we are going to learn how to move around. Firstly, to move from the same point of view going left to right, we hold down the scroll wheel. Next, to zoom inwards, we scroll upwards, and to zoom outwards, we scroll downwards. To freely rotate around the object, we hold the right button and drag to each side. To move without a mouse, we can left click on the cube on certain points to bring us to certain views. And we can hold the left click to move freely. To zoom in and out, we can use these buttons. If you find yourself lost, you can hit the home button to bring you back. Now let's get to designing. Our first shape is a wedge, which we left click and drag into the work plane. After turning it 180 degrees, we give it the measurements of 90 millimeters long, 30 millimeters wide, and 30 millimeters tall. It is important to take your time so that you make sure all your dimensions are correct. We bring another wedge in and change it to a hole. We rotate 180 degrees and give it the size of 86 by 28 and by 28 millimeters. Then we raise it 2 millimeters off the ground and place it into the solid wedge we just created with it allowing 2 millimeters on each side and sticking out 2 millimeters from the back. A tip is to use your arrows to move your objects around in 1 millimeter increments. Next, we drag in a solid box and place it flush against the solid wedge we just created. Then we give it the size of 90 millimeters by 35 millimeters by 30 millimeters. Next, we drag in a hollowed box and give it the size of 86 by 31 by 28. Then we raise it two millimeters off the ground and place it into the solid box we just created. Next, we drag in a solid box and place it against the solid box we just created. Then we give it the size of 90 by 12 by 10 millimeters. Next, we drag in a solid wedge and rotate it 90 degrees. Then we place it flush against the last solid box we just created and we give it the size of 90 by 30 by 12 millimeters. Before the next step, we need to combine the objects. To do this, we select all the shapes and click on the morphed shape in the top right corner. Now we have a hollowed space for all of our electronics to fit. With our solid object, we need to add a gap for a wires to slip through from the motors. To do this, we need a hollowed box with a size of 10 by 2 by 20 millimeters. We drag it 10 millimeters off the ground and place it near the center of the wall. With this done, we can now group the objects once again. Now there is space for your motor wires. Our final steps is to add the top plate mounting holes with a solid cylinder with the size of 6mm in diameter and 30mm tall. Make sure the exterior of the cylinder lines up like so. We can copy, paste and drag this to the other side in the same position. 
Once again, it is important to make sure all your shapes are in the right position. Now we need a pilot hole for a screw using a hollowed cylinder with the size of two millimeters in diameter and 30 millimeters tall. We place this in the center of the solid cylinder. Make sure the inner cylinder should line up between the blue walls like so. And then copy and paste for the other side. The final step is to group all of the objects. Congratulations, you've finished your own Antweight Combat Robot shell in Tinkercad. Next, you can try ideas by adding different shapes or modifying the size of the robot. This is up to you. Happy designing and I will see you in the arena.